My name's Dr. Paul Darwin. I'm the Associate Dean of IT at James Cook University, Brisbane. I make sure we have the best people to do teaching and tutoring in IT subjects, as well as things like statistics. My view of the future for IT from a practical perspective, data mining can do things like make accurate decisions and predictions much more accurately than was possible in the past. So we can do things like predict who is likely to have a certain rare disease or who is likely to have a car breakdown. And so this has tremendous advantages from a practical point of view in reducing costs and making people's lives better. From a social point of view, like all tools, it can be used both for good and evil. And yes, data mining has gotten a lot of uh, flack about maybe not the best uses for it. But certainly we can predict things like who is likely to be a criminal. Uh, so yes, in computer security, we go into that sort of thing, both how to commit crimes as well as how to catch the criminals who might be thinking of doing it. So yes, there's a lot of social implications as computers pervade the, the lives of ordinary people. What I like most about moulding and inspiring young minds is to open people's eyes to what's possible, to the potential, and also to open their eyes about what's actually happening behind the scenes. You pull aside the curtain, maybe there's just a small man saying, don't look at the man behind the curtain. There's a lot of that going on. Um, one good example is we used to have this textbook for an MBA subject, and it des described the tech company as being this great success. But of course, in later years, that tech company went broke in a big spectacular crash. So it's always good to point out, this is what the textbook said, but this is what actually happened. And to encourage that critical thinking that maybe people aren't telling you the whole truth, and maybe that's because they've got a vested interest in you not finding out the whole truth. So we definitely make sure that students learn about critical thinking uh, to get to the bottom of what's going on. Well, there's a number of reasons why JCUB is different. The parent campus, James Cook University, is the Queensland's second oldest and second largest university. So it's certainly no lightweight. The James Cook University also is number one in Australia for employer satisfaction with graduates. And there are only three universities in Australia that have a top rating for employer satisfaction in the Good Universities Guide for the last eight years running. And we're the only university in the state of Queensland to have that. Uh, James Cook University, it's a small campus, so the students are just not numbers in a crowd like they might be at some larger universities. Uh, here, students know who the lecturer is, and the lecturer can recognise every student's face. Uh, so yeah, the, the students have a much more of a, well, I wouldn't call it a boutique experience, it's not quite that small, uh, but yes, it's much more homey and personable. And another nice thing is that our staff, they've all got very interesting backgrounds. They've, they've had experience running businesses, starting businesses, doing interesting things. And so yeah, they, they bring a wealth of experience and a lot of interesting stories about things they've done. Uh, and yeah, it's in a beautiful location near the river, very easy to get to, very nice to access. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things going for it. James Cook University is number 97 in the world uh, for research papers and citations according to the Times Higher Education Supplement. An MIT degree is valuable simply because a lot of businesses need a lot of people with IT skills and there's currently a shortage of things like people who know about security in computers, people who know about data mining. The Australian Computer Society is projecting a shortfall of some 50,000 computer security specialists uh, out for the next few years and there's a similar shortfall for data mining people. Uh, they're just crying out for people. And that's partly because new technology comes along and you can copy the software, but getting people to drive it, you can't just copy them, they have to be trained. Um, so yeah, there's very much a uh, upcoming skills shortage. All of our students are automatically members of the Australian Computer Society. And so that's how you know, we get um, insights into their, their latest work. If I had to give a tip to a student doing a Master of IT, um, it would be that, yes, do the work, but in the gaps between, have a look around at outside stuff, your own project, something that you find interesting for its own sake. Um, there are a lot of activities happening in Brisbane for, that are IT related. Uh, they have hackathons nearly every weekend somewhere. Um, so it's good just to, to have a look around, maybe do something yourself on the side, uh, because that following your own interest, because you're interested in it, um, you'll spend a little time on it and it'll be fun. And yeah, that sort of extra little bits and pieces doesn't have to be much, 
But that's the sort of thing employers often look for. Say that, yes, you did the grades, you did this work, but you did this other thing on the side. And they sort of like that, it shows initiative. Um, shows you that you are agile, you can do something, something a little different that shows that you're doing it because of your interest. Mm -hmm.